All right, what up y'all, it's Matt. So I got this welder off of Amazon for this project I'm working on. Let's put it through its paces and test it out. Let's see how good this Amazon welder is. Super MIG IGPT inverter technology. You can see they had a bunch of different models here. Um, this one is the MIG 200D. All right, so this is a Vever MIG 200D3. It's got all these controls up here, current, voltage, wire speed. This is a multi-process machine, so it's got stick, TIG, and MIG. It's got positive and negative, depending on what you're welding on or what process you're using. It's got a torch right here. We need to open the box to look at that. And then it's got the gas on and off. This one's only 220 volts. They have dual voltage models on Amazon. They got one that's 110 and 220. It comes with a pigtail, so you can just plug it into a regular outlet. It's got a little fan down here. It's got a little ground right here. Here's some of the specs. Oh, let's see what's in here. Glasses. All right, so we got our wire feed thing right here. This one will hold 11 pound spools and the 2.2 pound spools. Should hold a one pounder too. Oh yeah. We got our TIG torch here. We got a little wire brush here with a little hammer on the end of it. Our gas lines, then we have our stick welding leads. And then what I'm really looking forward to is the MIG torch right here. I wanna test this out big time. It's got the European style connector on it. So the TIG torch looks pretty good. Um, we can't test it in this video because I don't have any gas, but it looks like it's just as high quality as the rest of the machine. So it's got this collet design and it takes a 564 tungsten. I got this flux core spool on here we're going to test first. It's got this spring and this nut to keep it tight. Current, voltage. You got this little switch right here to get the wire to start moving. So the fan's a little loud, that's just going to have to be what it is, but we got the MIG voltage right here. Starts at 15 and goes up to 23. And then we get the wire feed speed here. Apparently that reads the current. So the wire speed and the current are tied together on MIG. So you can see it goes to 200. So they're locked together. So you're doing 200 amps worth of welding and then it pushes out that much wire at the right speed. So you can't tr control that separately which kind of stinks, but, which I don't know how that's gonna work, but uh, let's give this thing a test. Flux core MIG. So it's not too bad on this dirty trailer metal. You can see I got a little bit of porosity right here, but it's gonna take some fine tuning, obviously. Stick. So you can see it's doing pretty good. I'm not that great a stick welder. Um, but it's getting pretty good penetration. It does seem like it wants a lot more current when you put it on stick mode. Looks pretty good. I'm not a stick welder, it's just a trailer floor, but you get the idea. It's working pretty well. These are 7018 ACs. This is a DC machine, so that probably has something to do with it, but it's all I got for right now. So that's what we used on there, and you can see how it turned out. Let's try welding some thin metal.
Not too bad for flux core. Not bad at all, guys. You can see that one little speck right there. Well, I didn't really weld it that well, but it cleaned up nicely and got good penetration all the way through. The MIG is really good on this. Nice solid weld. The metal broke before the weld did. So the final thoughts on this welder is, all right, so the positives, the MIG torch is great. You can see it's got a great trigger on it. It's got a great feel to the handle. It's heavy duty, you know, the tips are replaceable, all that stuff, they did it all right. It's got good voltage control, good wire speed control and current control. This model is a 200 amp model. It's got plenty of power, that's not a problem at all. It's got that good cooling fan in there to keep it nice and cool. The negatives, the things I would like to see done differently. The ground clamp needs to be upgraded, get a heavier duty one of those. You can see the stick lead needs to be upgraded. Um, you can get a better one of those. This one's pretty cheap, but you can just swap them out, no problem, you know, just take it apart. So here's a much better clamp, right? This one's way heavier duty. Here's another one too, it's way better. You can see how much heavier duty this one is. These are off of Lincoln Tombstone. My number one pet peeve with this is the current control and the wiring speed you can see you can't change them independently of each other so they're stuck locked together which I don't like because it doesn't give you that much flexibility um, it's kinda good for just set it and go you know a newbie a beginner can just set it and forget it but it's kinda annoying to me because I would rather be able to control the current separate from the wire speed you know so we can get it feed in slower or faster and more current or less current and get it set up exactly how we want but it gets the job done right so the polarity is a little bit confusing to figure out. In this configuration, it's DC electrode negative. Like this is electrode positive. And then with stick, it's just, this is disconnected and then it just reads, you just read it down here. So you know, this lead is positive and this lead is negative. It's a little bit confusing, but once you figure it out, you're good. So in this configuration right here, it'd be electrode positive and then vice versa. Parts availability. So the tips are all standard sizes, right? You can just unscrew them and screw them in um, on the MIG torch with, you know, your standard sizes. The tungsten seems like it's a smaller size than normal. Not that big a deal, you know, for light duty stuff. And then getting parts for the rest of the machine, I don't know, it hasn't broken yet. So it seems like it'll last a very long time. And your warranty and stuff, there's that to consider too. So I need to get some gas so that we can test the TIG function and the MIG function. You know, this was just flux core and stick welding in this video. It did great at those. But, uh, you know, you can only get the weld so pretty with flux core MIG. So uh, we'll test that out in future videos. Other than that, this thing's great. Definitely worth the money. If y'all want to get one of these, check out the links in the description. I'll put links down there where you can find them on Amazon. I'll check y'all on the next one later.